All right, welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the Azami Kiba gadget spots for the new layer map. I've managed to collect around 24 throughout the whole map, and I'm gonna be going from top to bottom, and I'll be showing you every single one of them. To start out, the first Kiba spot that you're gonna be looking for is gonna be in the servo hallway next to the bomb site. If you place your Kiba gadget right at the bottom and get as close as you can to the wall, you're gonna be able to get this sort of a broken Kiba gadget. And if you aim at this layer right here, a little bit just above it, you're gonna be able to create an angle here, which you can aim at the server hallway and look at the stairs door. And if somebody tries to go, you can pick them off. The next spot that you're going to be looking for is gonna be from the server hallway into the bathroom. If you place the double Kiba gadgets on the wall and you just leave enough space so you can shoot down below, can basically hold the stairs if somebody tries to pass through and you can shoot their feet and possibly kill them. After that, if you head from the bathroom to the main stairs, you can place a double Kiba gadget on the very corner here and possibly block off the stairs. So if anybody tries to push, you should be able to hear them trying to break the Kiba gadget and kill them possibly when they try to break the gadget itself or just uh, be wary when they're coming through. After mezzanine, if you head to the hallway to the right into the bomb side of the master office, there's two simple spots that you can use here. I haven't found any other than those two. But if you place a Kiba gadget behind the desk, you're gonna create this sort of a fan looking uh, spot where you can hold the door of the office to the hallway. And uh, another spot, if you head on behind this desk here and place it at the edge here, uh, you can hold a uh, breachable wall from the outside or the door to the hallway itself. Now, if you move on from the master office to the Rainbow Six room to the right, there is two spots that you can use here for the Kiba gadget. So if you place your Kiba gadget right at the bottom here, you should be able to hold the room next to where the enemies are trying to push through the hallway or maybe just even pick them off if you break the bottom part of the floor. Or you can hold on top of this bench here if you place your gadget somewhere beneath below so you can have an angle from them pushing here and then you can hold it from this side here and most likely they will not expect you to hold this or maybe just hold it like this if they're pushing from hallway you should be able to shoot their feet all right now that we've finished the upper floor we're gonna be moving towards the main floor and if you go from the reception of the main hallway into the medical room there is a really good spot where you can hide your friend especially a sneaky operator like Kavera. if you place your keyboard gadget right at the corner here it should be blocking this whole part here and nobody should be able to notice you unless they really go and look here but anyways this is probably just gonna confuse a lot of people just like why is this here the next spot is going to be located in the briefing room bomb site. If you place your Kiba gadget right at the corner here, you should be able to climb up and hold onto the door from the outside or you can even peek behind the desk like here or here. So there is a lot of possibilities when the enemy is trying to push in. Now if you head on from the briefing room into the bunks, there is a really good spot where you can place the Kiba gadget on the cabinet here. And from there, you should be able to hold the door itself. So if somebody's trying to push, you should be able to pick them off before they get into the door itself. And if you head on from bunks to the outside into the bunk corridor and you want to hold this whole bunk corridor and the enemy usually likes to push from the window, what you can do is you can block it off with two Azami Kiba gadgets and hold on to the window itself and the corridor if the enemy's trying to push in and shoot their feet if they try to jump in. Moving on next to the other bomb site, if you go in the armory hallway itself and if you want to hold the stairs and an enemy really likes to push this part of the map from the outside, what you can do is you can place the keep a gadget on the corner here and do another one on the corner here and from there you can hold the stairs when the enemy is trying to push from the outside from the left or from the right side. Now if we move on from the armory hallway into the armory itself, there's two useful spots that you can use here. The first one is going to be on the armory door. So if you place your keep a gadget right at the top of the hip here and do it again, you should be able to pull the door. So if anybody's trying to push in and break the keep a gadget, you should be able to shoot them right here and possibly eliminate them. And from here, if you go on the uh, gray cabinet right here and toss it, and you should be able to hold the door itself if you don't have these two and from here hold the door on the other side of the site. Now if you move on from the armory to the weapon maintenance, I've managed to find two cheeky spots that you can do while holding this site. So if you place a keeper gadget on the uh, small cabinet right here, you can hold the door on the other side and from here hold the door to the range itself. 
And from there, you can go on top of this crate and use your Kiba gadget right at the corner here. And from there, you can just hold it standing into the range exit and possibly eliminate the enemy that is trying to push from this side here. Alright, so moving on from the main floor to the bottom floor in the lab support. If you want to hold this room onto the filtration, what you can do is you can place a Kiba gadget right at this part of the cabinet. And from here, you can hold into the hallway or possibly the breachable wall if they break it on the right side. But if you want to hold the door in a more safe manner, what you can do is you can place your Kiba gadget right at the edge here and do another one right here. And if they try to push, you should be able to shoot their feet before they get into the door itself. Now, if you move on from the last support into the stock room where the enemy can push from the outside door, you can pretty much block it off, place the double key again once again on the top. So if they try to push, you should be able to shoot their feet before they get through. And even if they try to break it, you should be able to shoot them right here. And from the stock room, if you go into the toxin room where the enemy is trying to push from the missile room, what you can do is you can place your Kiba gadget right at the corner here. And from here, you can hold the missile room from right this spot. Now, if you want to hold the missile room itself, it's a totally different story. You have to have a band or a mute on this wall so they don't breach it. But if you do, what you can do is you can place double Kiba gadget on the wall. And if somebody's trying to break through them, they have to melee them around the corner. So you will definitely be able to spot them and kill them before they do. But if they have a grenade, well, you're kind of done for and you gotta get out of the room. Now as for our two last spots, if you move from the toxin room into the lab itself, if you place your cable gadget right in this white crate and you climb on top of it, you should be able to hold the door on the toxin itself or the pillar on the left side. But if you wanna hold the pillar right on the door and the toxin door itself, you can place a Kiba gadget on the cabin here. And from here, you can hold both of the doors from the pillar and from the Kiba gadget. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is all the spots that I've been able to find. If you did find some that I haven't and are really good, please share them in the comments down below. And if you just have a comment, about the video itself, do comment down below. Like the video and share it with others if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of the Rainbow Six content like this. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.